We're going to talk about how to record attendance in Moodle. Uh, it's really a fairly simple process, and uh, let's get started right now. I'm on a course page for a course that I'm teaching. It's marketing uh, that I'm teaching in organizational management at the moment. And um, you'll notice as you scroll down the, the page in the first block before you get to the uh, weeks of the course, you'll see that, uh, of course, my contact information is in it. My contact information is in there, my biography, uh, the syllabus for the course, the first assignment clarified. You'll remember that's all the critical information that you have to have uh, available on, the, on your Moodle page. And then um, a little ways down the page, you'll see in gray uh, attendance. Now, I've grayed out, I've made attendance invisible to students uh, because we're in the beta testing uh, phase of, of attendance right now. Um, but eventually, if, if you want to show students what their grades are, you can do it from this link. Um, or not their grades, their attendance is. And for a five-week course, it's pretty simple to know what your attendance is like. So anyway, let's go ahead and click on the link within the class. And once I click on it, it takes me to a screen for attendance for the course, and it, it spells out what the course is. You'll notice I've already done attendance for the first three sessions. And actually, um, we met last Thursday night, but I've been saving this one for us today so that I could show you how easy it is to do it. You'll notice that um, in the past se sessions, um, we don't have a green dot here. That's because um, I already took attendance on those days. You will notice, however, that where it says regular class session, it's actually a link. And that's because if I wanted to edit it, if somebody who I put down as absent actually had a legitimate excuse for not being there, I could click on this and go back and edit that particular day. But let's look at um, as if we are uh, we just finished the class and I wanted to enter my, uh, my attendance on the page. I click on the green dot and it takes me to my class roster and here are my options. Either the student was present, absent, late, or excused. In this case, I know that on the fourth night of the class, everybody was present. So I can just click on the P, and look, everybody shows up as being present. Now, even if one or two weren't present, I would probably click on that, because then I can go back and say, well, actually, Kristen was uh, excused, and Deborah was late. OK, of course, that wasn't the occasion, so we're going to make them all uh, present. Also, if you had put somebody down as excused and you wanted to have a reason why they were excused, you could fill it in in remarks. So all my students are accounted for. I press OK. A little clock spins for a couple of seconds. And eventually, it will take me back to the page we were looking at before. OK? Now, if I did have an error in here, as I mentioned before, I can click on the link where it says regular class session and it'll take me right back there I can make that change and save it again and I'll be good to go fairly simple right okay now let's assume that everything I've, I've done attendance for the entire class all the way through uh, my last stage or my last move on this process is to uh, file a report with student services when I turn in the final papers and the grades for the course I do this by simply clicking on the report button. It takes me to uh, the same class roster and shows the accumulation of all the scores up to date, or all the entries up to date. And I actually have, I'm also experimenting with grading, and I have, uh, I have uh, participation and attendance tied together as a, as a grade. So you'll notice that I have some grade options over here on the side. Uh, we're, we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now, all we're concerned about is the fact that um, we have all of, these, uh, all of this information that we're going to report to student services. So you'll notice underneath this little uh, spreadsheet, there's uh, some options. You can download this in an, in an Excel format. You can download it in open office or text. In this case, we're downloading it, loading it as Excel. So that's the option you want. Click OK. The next thing it's going to do is ask, do you want to open it with a particular program, or 
do you want to save the file? Well, I want to open it with a particular program, and this is the first time I've done this, so I have to actually tell it which program to open. Uh, now, if you're working in Windows, this might be a step that you don't have to worry about. Okay, so I say open it with uh, Microsoft Excel. I click and look. Here's my data. This is the um, Excel spreadsheet that it just downloaded. Okay, now I'm going to make sure I have a copy of this to attach to an email. So I'm going to go over here to Save As, and I'm going to save it to the desktop. It's probably going to tell me I've already got one there, but I'm going to do it anyway. See, it says it already exists. I'm going to say replace because I'm looking at this one and I know it's the one I want. Okay, so there it is. Now all I need to do is email this to student services.